back at Home Depot again for the second time. Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel, Beauty with a Hammer. I'm Carla and I'm the beauty with the hammer, yep, looking all glam over here. But on this channel I talk all things beauty, health, and DIY. And today I have a great DIY video for you guys. I am going to be creating four columns. Now there's something really special about these columns, they're not just any columns. Um, one of my followers has reached out to me. She is going to be ma getting married. She's going to be tying the knot at the end of this month. And she has asked me to create four wedding columns made out of wood um, for her wedding ceremony. So I'm really excited. I'm very honored that she has um, actually asked me to do this. Now you guys know any time that I work with wood, it's literally the first time that I'm creating it. And so I don't have any prior experience to how something like this is gonna turn out. I've gotten all my materials and I have my husband helping me today. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay guys, so for this project, I'm gonna be using two power tools, a drill and a handsaw. I've got my glasses to protect my glam eyes. I've got these screws here, they're one and a half. I've got two boxes for a total of 200. I've also got some sandpaper, measuring tape, some spackling paste. I'm gonna be painting these columns white, so I have a, a white flat paint here, something to paint with, a square, something to do my markings with, and a level. I'll be listing all of the materials as far as wood goes down below in the comments um, so you guys know everything that I got. All right, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I do need to create four columns. It's two at four and a half feet tall and two at six feet tall. So I'm gonna be creating the four and a half foot tall column first. So. Taking my two by three by eight, I'm gonna be measuring out eight pieces at 53 inches, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my measuring tape and make my measurements. So I'm gonna make my marking at 53, okay? Next, I'm gonna be taking my square to make sure I have a straight line. We ain't got no time for crooked lines here, okay? Okay, nice and straight. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my glasses because I gotta cover my glam lashes. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this cut. All right guys, so I have my first, my first piece here at 53 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of them and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right you guys, I just finished cutting my, my two by three, the 71 inch. Um, for the six foot column, so as you guys can see, I have all of my two by threes cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cutting the plywood and trying to design the, the, the plywood that's gonna be wrapped around um, the outside for these columns. Okay guys, so what we've done is we've taken our plywood here and we've measured out a length of 53 inches and we cut this board across. What we're doing next is measuring out um, the pieces that are gonna be covering. So this first one here is 11 and we're gonna cut another 11 inch at 11 inches and then two at nine inches and hopefully be able to wrap them around our, our um, two by threes here that are at 53 inches, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and make the rest of these measurements and cut these boards and I'll see you guys, I'll show you guys the results. All right, you guys, so this is what the board that we cut looks like. We've already placed our two by threes on the bottom. I'm gonna be taking these screws here and beginning to screw this plywood onto the board. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process all the way down. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, you guys, so after some calculations and craziness, trying to figure out how we were gonna make this, this is one of the four and a half inch um, columns here. So as you can tell, we did have to add these little boards here after putting all of the, uh, the plywood around it um, just so that when we do apply the the base for it um, it'll have something sturdy to hold on to so as you guys can see here we go this is what it looks like so far so we're gonna go ahead and cut the plywoods that are gonna go here on the bases um, and we'll have our first finished column all right you guys this is day two of trying to create these wooden columns it's obviously been a lot more difficult and complex than I originally planned for and um, I'm seeing a pattern that seems to be something that's pretty typical with all of my DIYs but anyway we um, there were a couple of changes to the base of these columns and so I'm gonna show you guys uh, what we've been working on okay 
Okay, you guys, so what we've done is we've taken a plywood, cut it at 14 and a quarter by 11 and three quarters, and then we found these little two by two posts at, a, at Home Depot, and we've cut we've cut them at a 45 degree angle here um, so that they nicely border this plywood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and nail these to the plywood and then just lay the column on top and then nail this entire piece to the bottom of the column. So it should have this nice little trim around the column, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So we just finished uh, screwing the plywood to the border. Now let's see how this looks. that on there oh yeah look at that looks awesome okay right well, now we just have to repeat it for the top Woo! I like me some power tools okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on the top Woo! my skills are getting sharp okay I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the top the process here on all the top and we're gonna have almost an entirely finished column. I'm really excited about this. Okay guys, I'll see you guys in a second. Um, this is week two of working on the columns. We have finally finished putting together all four columns. These two here are at six feet and these two are gonna be at four and a half feet high. So now what's left to do is just wait for this to dry, sand it and paint it to look like that little column back there. So, all right, I'll see, show you guys here in a little bit after we're done the finished product. All right, you guys, these are the finished columns. Don't they look absolutely stunning? I think they came out really well. They're completely finished. Um, we put two coats of white paint, and we also added, per request, some hooks here on each side of the column so that we could anchor, they can anchor these down into the ground. They're gonna be uh, standing, I believe, in some flower beds, and so I am so excited. These are gonna ship out to Celesta this weekend up in Austin, and I can't wait till she shows me a picture of what these look like. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video I had a lot of fun creating these columns here it was a lot of work um, definitely learned a lot of new skills I actually learned how to use a table saw for the very first time um, trying to get these cuts um, doing 45 uh, angle cuts I'm completely honored to have a request like this and I'm so excited for Celeste to show me um, a picture of the end results what they look like at her wedding and her wedding ceremony um, and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to keep coming back. I do post videos um, about woodworking at, on this channel, anything beauty, health, um, and DIY. All right, you guys, as always, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next project.